Well, Fridge List is a way to recognize these young people, whether they are entrepreneurs or leaders in a different capacity, for what they have done and for the potential that they are about to unleash. I'm here today in Brussels with the other honorees to receive this award. And I think it's a very good opportunity to grow together with the big companies and also to pay it forward. Well, it's an honour for us to be, uh, to be nominated and to pick up the award. Young people need uh, people to inspire them and hopefully we give a little taste of an opportunity for, uh, for being able to inspire young people. I think for support for this, hopefully we'll see for many years to come, many other alumni come through, tell their stories and inspire other people. I can't even believe that I made it to be on the list. To me it's like it's a kind of an amazing circle that has closed itself. I come from a family where no one is an entrepreneur, right? So I didn't have the luxury of observing other people do it. So GA literally gave that to me. So I've got a lot of passion for, for young enterprise. Uh, whilst it was quite a long time ago now, um, it was uh, um, sort of foundational, I think, for helping me to become the success I have been. GA was extremely important for me because it provided me the, the opportunity to make mistakes without any cost. I pretty much attribute my entrepreneurial career to, to GA. Um, so it's like it was the singular pivotal moment that changed me completely. You cannot be an entrepreneur without being educated. Start the education is the key for everything. The younger these people learn to make decisions, to, to think, to, to fight problems, uh, just to, to learn by doing is uh, the, the more experience they will have and the more educated and the more skills they'll gain. I think the key is connecting the field, the people doing there, to the people who want to do it. We, we need these kind of sessions to speak uh, from experience and to share our um, issues with uh, the policy makers. It's going to be interesting to see how governments have to adapt rather than regulate. You have to have you know, what we're talking about here, introduce as many people as we can to entrepreneurship. What I would like to see more on a member state's levels um, uh, is uh, supporting more teachers, uh, empowering teachers, training teachers. And it's very important that we had this opportunity and I hope more opportunities will, uh, will follow. Mm -hmm.